What's the fibbity dibbity do, YouTube? It's your boy David for Canada Father back with some bullshit. Well, not back with some bullshit. Back on my bullshit, man. Your boy's at the goddamn gym right now, as you can see, bro. Now, before your boy go in here, get some goddamn reps in and release some stress, bro. I just want to get on the camera and really preach about how all men should really, bro, improve their fucking bodies. Like, all men should be in the gym. All men should work out. All men should be trying to better their fucking temple, dog. Not only is it good for attracting women, but it's, it's way better for your mental health, bro. Like, fuck, fuck the women part, bro. Let's talk about improving yourself today. Before I get to this video, man, a lot of y'all don't know that I have a child. She's a six-month-old child. So for like the past like three to four months of my child's birth, well, not birth, but her being here, bro, a nigga low-key been slacking, eating whatever the fuck he want, ain't been looking after her. I've just been letting myself go. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to waste your time with no bullshit. I've been letting myself go, and I'm finally hit the gym again and trying to get back into the best shape that I used to be in. So for number one, bro, is mental health, bro. Back when I was 19, around the time I was working at McDonald's for about a year, where a nigga really let himself go, bro. Like, before this, bro, I used to be, like, hella fat, bro. And because of that, bro, I had no self-confidence, and I was hella depressed, bro. Ever since I got fat at 19, I'm 22 now, bro. Ever since I got fat at 19, bro, and that whole year, bro, it's just been, it been trash, bro. I had no self-love, bro. I hated myself every time I looked in the mirror, bro. I used to go in the fucking bathroom and not even look at myself. Let me let me give you guys an example, bro. I used to look like this right here. That nigga right there ain't getting no bitches, no attention. Nigga, I was just at home all day playing video games, eating full dinner boxes by my fucking self, bro. Jerking off and wishing I had some kind of female attention, bro. Wishing I had that self-love. Wishing I had that discipline to get the fuck up and go for a run every fucking morning, bro. I eventually got it. But before that, my nigga, I was down, down bad, bro. So after I started working out, bro, that full year, bro, I just got the fuck up. I started working out every fucking day, bro. Like, I had to force myself, bro. Even when I didn't want to work out, bro, I forced myself to fucking work out. And the results started coming eventually, bro. I noticed that my mental health has gotten better, bro. Like, I, I, a lot of y'all don't know I used to write raps, bro. My raps went from dark and depressing ass shit to shit. Some self-conscious, like, not self-conscious, but some confident ass shit. My nigga, some braggadocious type shit, bro. I started working out losing weight, bro. I started getting attention from bitches and shit. And it's not even about the bitches, bro. It's about loving myself again, bro. I started looking at myself in the mirror again and just, just staring at myself and loving what I see, bro. All those self-hatred thoughts started going away, bro. I started looking towards a brighter future, bro. Clothes started fitting, bro. I started looking good in clothes and shit, bro. Just that self-love came back in that mental, that mental space. Like that good mental energy came back, bro. Working out is therapeutic as fuck, bro. I'll go in there for an hour, two hours a fucking day, bro. And that shit, I used to hate that shit at first, but I started to love that shit because that shit was therapeutic as fuck, bro. Especially when you start seeing results, bro. Bro, my mental health went fucking. It, 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 went, it was went from right here, bro, to all the way up here, man. That shit was low-key. Working out low-key cured my depression, bro. Not even a low-key, bro. I can cure my depression. Another one I'm going to get into where workout really helped me out that a lot of niggas like me and you are lacking is discipline. Setting goals. Setting your meals. Setting your workouts and actually working out, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. And I ain't going to go cap, but I hate working out. Like, I really hate that shit. Working out is literally torturing yourself putting yourself putting your body through so much stress and pain just so you can have a healthier body yep nothing comes easy bro like <laughs> that's the true definition of nothing comes easy bro you you're literally breaking your body down just to be better and all that discipline like i had to force myself like even when i didn't want to work out bro i forced myself to get the fuck out of bed and do my sets do my reps but go to the gym do what i gotta do and that shit eventually paid off. But I, I ain't gonna lie, I hated that shit, bro. Moments I wanted to give the fuck up, but no, I ain't do it. I ain't wanna give up, man. I had to do this. I had to prove myself wrong. I had to prove myself that I can I can do it. I can I can I can be better. I had to discipline myself to set goals and what I wanna do when it comes to the working out. I had to set meal preps. 
with meal plans. I had to set meal plans. I had to set workouts, routines, all that shit. And not only did that work and working out, but that transferred over to my life. I was more disciplined in life and getting shit done. Important shit done. And setting goals. Number three, bro, I was health, bro, improved health, bro. Especially improved health because before that, when I was 19, my nigga, I was hella lazy. I was uninspired. And I ain't never get shit done. Nigga, a nigga used to be tired all the time, bro. Like, no matter fucking what, bro, I would sleep like every other hour. I ain't want to do shit. I ain't want to go out. I ain't even want to fuck bitches, bro. When I did eventually get pussy, bro, and I'll fuck. <laughs> I'll bust and uh, tell the bitch to get the fuck out, bro. But like, I ain't have stamina for shit. I ain't want to do shit. I ain't I ain't putting no work in my, my music and my videos. My When I was at work, bro, my performance was low as fuck. My sex performance was low as fuck. Everything was just low as fuck until I did eventually start working out and I started improving my health. Then I noticed all the improved changes. Like, I was working at McDonald's at this time, bro. My speed went from here to here. I was inspired. I was hell inspired more because of my positive. Like, like I said, I was down, down bad when I started working out and improved my mental health. So it led me to being more inspired by everything. I started looking at everything instead of in a negative light. I started looking at everything in a positive light. And that really helped and transfer over to my music and my videos at the time. I wasn't tired all the time. Shit, I fucking hated sleep. So the, the, the working out definitely improves your health. And it gets your body, like, going. I mean, you're more motivated. Last but not least, get bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got a hell of bitches, bro. After I lost all that weight, bro. When bitches started noticing that I started sharing my weight, bro. All the bitches came back, bro. Oh my god, bro. I started getting more pussy. I ain't gonna lie. Before that, bro, ain't no bitch look at me. Ain't no bitch want me, bro. Friends on after friends on. Ghost after ghost. And after that, the bitches that used to friends on me and ghost me wanted to come and suck my fucking dick, bro. I'm telling you, bro. When you work out, you have an improved body, even though if you're ugly as shit, bro. Cause you know some bitches like body more than faces and shit, bro. And then that implies like it, when you work out, improve your body. That improves your style. If you go out and get new clothes to match your new body, bro, it's over, bro. You getting pussy after pussy. I'm telling you, man. Bitches love a guy in shape. Bitches love fit niggas. A girl don't want a man with a pudge or a dad bod or overweight obese nigga, bro. But get your ass in the gym, bro. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah, all men should be in the gym. All men should start to be the best when it regards their body. Because, I mean, this is the only thing you get, bro. Really, really for your health. Because once it's, once your health is gone, once your body is done, bro, then that's the end of you. Take care of your body and then conquer everything else. Conquer your body and then conquer everything else. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. Hope y'all enjoyed this, bro. Let me go get this workout. And I'll see y'all niggas on my next fucking video, dog.